I'm Jared Haynes, and this is Rogue Outdoors. Today I want to talk to you about the Swarovski NL 12x42s and the EL 10x42s. So these two binoculars, I think, are the ultimate clash of the titans when it comes to which binocular in the Swarovski line should you consider getting, because you have the traditional tried and true EL 10x42 and then the new 12 by 42 design. So the 12 by 42 NL offers a wider field of view or what their claim to fame is, is a wider field of view, um, size to, you know, power to power compared to what the ELs offered, still doing the same light and color transparency or um, allowance, I guess you'd say, that the NL or the ELs had. So the ELs have been known to be edge to edge, 100% clear. And they also have the coating on the front lens that is true to color, essentially, which really means, um, and all the other binocular brands, they have a green undertone to them. And that really, most of them at least, have a green undertone. And that throws off when you're glassing what the colors really look like. So when you get into sagebrush, like I'm here in Eastern Washington, it really can be hard to pick out the animals with glass that has those green undertones because it starts blending everything together, turns the brown animal green, um, or starts to give it that green hue and can make it a lot harder. The NL has that same lens coating that allows the true to color colors to come through, but then they've changed the body design. So if you look at these two side by side, there's definitely a difference in the tubes. Um, there's a difference just in the overall bodies of these. The eye adjustments, how they feel in your hands. You put one on top of the other right here. And then there's also a difference if you look right up on top at where the adjustments are um, for getting the focus adjustment. So first I'm gonna start off by filming each one at a hundred yards. Back behind me, there is an elk that's out there or a elk archery target. So we're gonna throw up my phone scope and to make the test as fair as possible, what I'm going to do is I'm gonna set the eyes at the same level and then I'm not going to use digital zoom on either of the binoculars. Now the sun is starting to come down a little bit. It's not full sunset, but it is starting to come down. So it should show the light transparency. Now, one thing I want you to note is these are not going to show up as clear as they do to the human eye um, because it is being filmed through a phone. And the other thing is it's not going to show 100% of the field of view because it's only gonna be filmed through one eyepiece, one tube. Uh, so you have to take that into account. So let's take a look at both of these side by side, and then we're gonna go ahead and I want to talk at the end of this video about my opinion. Okay, I have this image centered on the elk using the NL 12 by 42 binoculars. And what I want you to really look at here is what you can see for the simulated hair on the bedded elk. I want you to look at each of the antler tines and then I want you to pick up the differences in the grass colors. So as you can see, the phone is focusing on the elk itself, which is what the binoculars are as well. But if you look through the different colors, you have the dirtier pieces of sagebrush with you know, more of the dust covering them. And it shows where that green has a little bit of that grayish undertone from all the dust as where if you get up towards the rock bluff section, you can see the grass there is a lot more vibrant green. Um, you also wanna look, or what I wanna point out, is in the antler tips where you get up kind of towards the white ivory portion, um, the color there stays very white as you're going from the brown antler. And that's something that's very um, Swarovski specific. This color uh, truity, I guess you would say, or color trueness um, is extremely, phenomenal from Swarovski binoculars. And that's because of the front coating that they use. It doesn't take over with that green that a lot of other optics um, have. So let's go ahead and take the NL 12 by 42s down and put up the EL 10 by 42s and see what we get.
All right, we got the EL 10 by 42s up here now, so let's go ahead and take a look at those. So the EL 10 by 42 has a little bit of the skyline showing, and if you look directly below the elk's butt as it gets into the rock bluff, there is a little bit um, of grass showing down there that was not showing on the NLs. Uh, you are back a little bit farther, so when you're looking at the outline of what you're seeing on, you know, the simulated hair on the elk, and as you get up into the elk antlers, it is a little bit less. Um, you have a little bit more width. However, if you're looking close at this image, it does cut off a tiny bit um, with the phone cam for whatever reason. That's just how it is working on these ELs. Uh, the eye cups have a little bit more adjustment for whatever reason, the, or the jumps aren't quite as much on the NLs. So this is as good as it gets on the EL portion. The colors appear to be the exact same to me. I'm not noticing any difference in the coloring. Uh, let me throw both of these images up side by side, and I want you to take a look at them and see what you think. All right, now that you looked at these side by side, here's kind of my opinions on the fit and feel. So weight-wise, between the NL 12x42s and the EL 10x42s, don't really notice much of a difference. I mean, they're the NLs are probably a tiny bit lighter, at least in the hand, um, but the you know, weight is not something that would matter to me to where I would choose one over the other. The grip, I would say, is something that would make me choose one over the other. One thing to keep in mind is you can pop this cap off on the front of the NLs, and you're able to put on like a stud so you can hook these straight into a um, tripod as where on the ELs, I'm using this bino hand from the Outdoorsman's because it has this front bridge uh, on there. And with that bridge design, you're, you have to send it either to the Outdoorsman's or you're stuck, you know, you can't take it off. Um, I haven't sent mine in, so I just use that so I can throw up any type of binocular and don't have to have studs on everything. Uh, the feeling to me, I personally like the EL round tubes um, back here where my thumb sits. I like that design, but I'm also a little bit biased because I've been using the ELs for a couple of years now and the NLs are a little bit newer to me. Um, so I don't know that I wouldn't get used to this, but for me, I'm just so used to that circular feeling basically. Uh, I do like the EL actually a little bit better when it comes to that. The eye cup adjustment seems to be a little bit better. There are a little bit different eye cups um, on the NLs, and I like the NL eye cup better. Um, these are all minor things, but you know when you're spending this kind of money, it you know is important that you pick the one that's right for you. When it comes to light and uh, color, you know allowance basically, which one's the better in either of those categories uh, between these two? I didn't notice that one was letting in more light or less light because you're at the NL 12 by 42. Now, if I was using and I have used and filmed a review of the NL 10 by 42s, those do actually let in more light than the ELs do. Um, but at that point, that's a, a different conversation. So between the 12 by 42 and the 10 by 42, I'm not noticing uh, any better light or color um, transmissions to my eye. Both are extremely true to color. Uh, and then when it comes to field of view, the 10 by 42 EL does have a tiny bit more field of view, um, but you're talking a very minuscule amount. The NL 12 by 42 is right there, you know, nipping on its heels when it comes to field of view, but you do have that two times more magnification, which is really, really cool. So I think where I would be at on these is if you have the money to spend on the NLs, I would go ahead and get the NLs. They're future-proofed. They do have the stud ability. Um, you know, they are a good feel. It's not like the feel is bad. They've put a lot of engineering into this design and how it works. Um, but if you don't have the money to spend to jump up to the NLs, there's no glass clarity difference um, or quality or light transmission when you combine these two, I would be fine sticking with the EL binocular series. 
Um, I don't think that there's a difference when it comes to the step up or down. It's just if you need this power and you know the 12 by 42 and want that same field of view as the 10, um, you're gonna have to go with the NL. So I hope you liked this review. If you did, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel for more content like this coming out soon. And thank you for watching.